So let's again take a look at the Ansible docs page for this module. And if you scroll to the examples field, you can see I'm going to grab this access list task that they already have set up for us here. So we're going to play around with that today. We'll take a look at it up close. So it's using some extra features like parents uh, before. Okay, on the server, change to your Ansible directory. I've written a playbook including this access list and I've named it parent underscore playbook. So let's VI that file and, and take a look at it. So you should be familiar with some of these tasks. You can see we have our hosts set to iOS, our gather facts set to no, connection set to local. We've got three tasks. The first one is obtain login credentials, which you should be familiar with. It's referencing the secrets.yaml file. And then we have define provider, which we covered in the provider video. So then there's the new one, load new ACL into device. And we're gonna go over that. Let's run this playbook. So we'll put the command ansible dash playbook. We'll specify our inventory is the host file and we'll run the parent underscore playbook. So it's been able to obtain the login credentials. It's defined provider uh, It's making the access list and it's done. Now let's SSH into one of our devices, which is uh, Cisco. 3550 switch. We'll do a show run uh, space pipe begin test, which is the name of our access list. Okay, so you can see it did install this access list on here. So it installed that access list on all three hosts. Uh, let's take another look at the playbook. Let's look a bit deeper into a couple of the features in this playbook. So at the bottom we have parents and before. So I wanna really look at what those are and what those are doing. What this command is gonna do is before entering the lines of the access list, it is going to issue the command no IP access list extended test. Thus, if there was already one on there, it would wipe it out and it would create it brand new and fresh with the four lines on the screen. So let's test that out. Let's remove one of the lines and let's remove the before feature from our playbook. And we'll just use the up arrow and let's run that playbook again. Again, obtain login credentials, define provider, load new ACL. All right, let's SSH back into that 3550 show run space pipe begin test and as you can see it did not remove the line that we deleted from our playbook so let's go back to our playbook and take a look let's add the before line back into the playbook So we'll say no IP access list extended test, and we'll save that. We'll use the up arrow and we'll run our playbook again. And we'll use the up arrow and we'll SSH back into our 3550. We'll type the command show run space pipe begin test. But now you can see it did remove the fourth line of the access list. So we'll jump back over into our playbook. Why did we get those results? So the reason you need the before feature in there is because our playbook is only adding these three lines. So if you want this specific lines in your playbook to be specifically what's in the device, then before you execute those lines, we need to be executing a command that says no IP access list extended test and then recreating it from scratch.
And at the same time, you'll notice there's also an after feature. So you could execute a command after the commands under the lines in your playbook. So let's try that. So we'll say after no IP access list extended test. We'll use our up arrow and we'll rerun our playbook. And we'll use our up arrow to SSH back into the 3550. We'll do a show run space pipe begin test. And you'll see there is no access list named test on here. We'll jump back into our playbook, take a look, and talk about why that is. So let's jump back into our playbook. We'll remove the after feature and we'll rerun the we'll rerun it. Okay. We'll SSH into the 3550. Take a look at the running config. And now you can see the access list is on there. So with after in there, we were creating it and then when we were done, our very last command, no IP access list extended test, so we were wiping out everything that we had built. Without after in there, we have our access list with our before, so whatever is in these specific lines is going to get added to the running config. If we re remove before, only stuff in our lines that's adding something is going to get added to the running config. So you'll notice there's another feature in here that we've been looking at called parents. So to explain parents, I'm going to SSH back into the 3550 and we'll just look at the syntax of the Cisco IOS and why you might need a parent feature. So we're on the switch and we'll use the command conf t we'll need to enter our IP access list extended video course and what we'll notice here is as I'm entering the line 10 permit IP host 9999 right my terminal is actually showing that we are entering under that access list and so that's what parents is going to do it's going to do the same thing it's going to put you into that part of the Cisco IOS where you are under the access list so you can start entering the lines. So it would work the same way with an interface. You would come in, say conf t, and then interface fast ethernet 2, and then you would be sort of under that interface in your Cisco IOS. Well, if you want to configure an interface with the IOS config module from Ansible, you would do the same thing. You would use the parent as you would make that interface command the parent. So if you really want to get deep into this, I would suggest that you take a look at the Ansible doc pages. What else do we have in here? Here's the a master list as of today. Uh, this does get updated quite a bit as new versions come out. Uh, as you can see, 2.2 had changed a bunch of stuff. So I suggest that if you do start practicing with Ansible for the Cisco IOS, and you start using this config module, go ahead and come in here and take a look at this, this doc because it's going to have a lot of useful information for you.